Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, we have the gorgeous Makina right now on the Gacha banner. And we're gonna try taking a look and see whether she is actually worth more than Cheryl Gnome or is Cheryl Gnome actually better than Makina? Still, <laughs> we, well, from the images alone, we know that Makina beats Cheryl Gnome hands down in terms of assets. <laughs> <laughs> but that aside, let's take a look at whether the stats of the episode plates are actually better uh, as compared to their assets. Uh, anyway guys, look at Makina's episode plate. A total of 3,307. Definitely Sharonome beats Makina in that uh, department. And of course, that Sharonome's episode plate is a well-balanced plate. Unlike Makina's, Makina's is focused on so. So both episode plates play uh, their own special roles in terms of high score challenges. And right, so for center skill, S rank as well, same as Cheryl. Uh, but we're not too sure whether the other two are of S, S rank as well. Okay, units total and life gains 20% up. Exactly the same as Cheryl Gnome, so let's skip on. So as you can see on this page, it is the same as Cheryl, she is also of another top tier level episode plate with all 3 skills at S rank. Of course, the same thing here, active skill, life recovery of 50% up. So yeah, so I guess looking at both Makina and Cheryl in this costume regains your life. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways guys, life skill at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds, not the best duration period or uh, rather duration length, but you know, 80% up in score. So both Cheryl and Makina's plates do very well as a center at the same time as a live support plate, but more to a live support plate in terms for high score challenges because both active skills are of recovery uh, status. And well, considering the fact that you know both plates uh, also are bound to certain divas, well, not everybody can equip them, uh, unfortunately, which will make them make this episode plate a lot more uh, worthwhile if almost all the divas can be equipped. But so far, we've seen only event exclusive episode plates uh, are able to actually do that. Uh, such as the first anniversary episode plate plus the new year anniversary episode plate. Alright, so sadly to say, same as Cheryl, both episode plates do not have special notes attached to them. So with this said, I would love to have Makina's episode plate, um, but I think I'm gonna save up most of my singing stones for uh, Ranka's upcoming gacha because if if I like what I have speculated, um, Makina proving my point, Ranka's episode plate for upcoming song, uh, Ranka and Brand New Peach, is likely to be a new tier episode plate as well with all three skills at S rank. So yes, we're looking, uh, we're looking into the future of Utah Macross where we are stepping into a generation of all the skills being S rank as well. Who knows? Maybe in the future we might see double uh, notes, note lighting up. You know the kind of thing where uh, episode plate will provide two or more kinds of special notes uh, when performing a live. Uh, we only know until the future releases of more episode plates or even a new new dive into a new generation of tier episode plates. Who knows? Uh, so we are looking forward to that kind of future, but of course that means more money lost in our wallets. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do uh, probably just a template pool, hopefully to get Makina's costume unlockable. Uh, hopefully to have enough episode orbs as well to unlock her costume, who knows. Uh, I might even do two template pools if I feel tempted enough, but let's see. <laughs> hey guys, let's do this. With the first template pool. Alright, loading bar, there we go. Do take note, I am on my main account, so when there's a loading bar on my main account, there is a slight chance of new episode plates popping up. Who knows? Here we go, guys. One plane, two plane, three planes. 
4-5 and a golden orb just like that. Fantastic. So there is a high chance of maybe two 5-star plates. Who knows? Um, hopefully the red boxes might evolve. So let's skip all the common ones. Here you go, the first red box. So no evolution. <laughs> I always laugh when I see this Osma plate. Uh, it's just ridiculous no matter how many times I see it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hopefully the second red box will evolve. Okay, we go straight to the 5 star. Okay, we didn't get the new Makina plate but I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I think it's the evolution for this plate for me. So, I'm not too sure. We have to find out at the end of the whole pool. So, no new plates for Makina's costume so far though. That's kind of sad. So, hopefully this one is one of them. Yeah, I It's a Sharonome plate. It is not Makina's plate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there we go. So, we do get... Uh, hmm... I'm not too sure whether the Sharonon plate is related to Makina's costume and there we go, we get to see the episode plate evolve. So that's pretty nice. Um, so this is a support plate though. Uh, so okay, it's it's more of a HP recovery episode plate. So not so fantastic but still nice to look at though. Uh, no special notes. Okay, so this plate is uh, a toss aside. <laughs> So, lots of episode plates getting more secret boards unlocked, so that's pretty nice, especially for Osmas. It's close to coming, uh, becoming a 10, plus 10 episode plate, so I guess this episode plate is the one that gives Makina's costume points. Okay, so the luck was pretty good, and I don't have a lot of episode plates for Makina's costume, so I'm gonna toss in the Singing Stones. Let's go guys for a second round! Keeping on with the fantastic luck that we had with the first round, hopefully we do pull another 5 star episode plate. So loading bar, there we go. There is a chance, there is a chance. 1, 2, 3. No 4, 5, okay. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. Okay. I think that's one of the plates for the costume points. Uh -huh. Lots of old plates. Oh, I like this. Need more Ranka love. Need May as well. Here we go. Will it evolve? No, no evolution. Oh no. Oh no. This is just sad. Very sad. So hopefully, okay, let's go take a look at the costume. Uh, section for Makina's new costume. Hopefully we get to see two episode plates there. Tap, here we go. Right. Okay, so we only have like one third of the points needed. I guess it's the two episode plates that we got. Oh, we got three. Oh. Oh, the donut is one of them. Okay. I thought I thought that plate was actually an old plate because you know it doesn't have the costume design for Makina's gorgeous uh, costume. Yeah. Okay. Let's power up as much points as we can. Hopefully, I have enough episode orbs to unlock the costume fully. It's a good thing that we managed to pull a four-star plate though. So. It will definitely give us a heap load of points compared to those 3 star episode plates. It's a good thing that I have quite a bit of materials stocked up as well. Okay, that's it. So, let's see. Do I have enough? Uh, from the looks of it, I don't think so. Guys, we don't have enough. Oh no. That's just sad. Oh. Okay, so guys, sadly, this is where it ends. I don't have enough to unlock Makina's costume. I would love to unlock it because um, from the commercial um, video that they played when you start up the game to introduce Makina's costume, I think Makina had a Wakure tattoo tattooed at the back of her uh, body um, because, well, if you pay a note, uh, close attention to the costume itself 
the back portion of Makina is entirely bare except for the part where the bra strap uh, connects um, and the top portion closer to her neck area there seems to be a Waukure logo tattooed to her back uh, I just had a small glimpse of it so I wanted to unlock the costume to verify it um, so who knows Anyway guys, hopefully you guys had better luck than I did. Uh, I really wish I could have obtained uh, one of the new tier episode plates. Sadly to say, it is not my luck, lucky day. Uh, hopefully I have better luck when Ranka's gacha comes around. But let's see, I, I really don't know. I don't know whether I will have any better luck than what I have currently. Uh, it hasn't been very fantastic for the last few videos. So guys, hopefully you get better luck than I do. Uh, and yeah, as always, if you like what you see in here, do let me know by hitting the like button or comment in the comment section down below. Do share the video to any of your friends out there who love to watch gacha openings or pulls. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!